Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Final Fantasy X playthrough. Uh, last part, I believe we got to Kilika and uh, got to the forest area, and then we just stopped things there. Hold on, cords are all tangled up. I have a very messy setup, so... Okay, um, so... Today, I think we're, we're gonna go through the forest and stuff. Um... Let's see, in the I saw two, got like a wood, and we're gonna do some shit. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, yeah, this, the first part of the game, like, the part we just played, that's like, I love that part. I just, I love this game so much, it's so cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go talk to these What's guys. Up? Yuna is saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want to ask you. To be my guardian. You know what? This is no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Well, give me a chance, guys. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. What? <laughs> what? What do you mean? It's just that... Well... We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> Alright, so now here we are in the Kilika Woods. And if you'll notice right up there, there's a giant monster. And we are gonna take that thing down because we're cool. First off, we gotta take care of this guy. Kimari, why don't you use Lancet on it? Yeah, that's What's good idea, Kimari. Lancet? Normally, it's a skill that weakens enemies and heals the user. But when Alonso uses it, that Alonso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Yeah, I, I already hey, talked about that. sounds cool. It, it, it is kind of a cool ability. I mean, I've used it numerous times. Like, you just have to find the right enemies in order to like, use it on. Right. You can use it on. I'm sorry, I'm a lot of words right now. Alright, so, uh, Yuna, I'm just gonna get you to attack it. Because, yeah. Yay, it's dead. Woo! Dum dum da da. I like to switch out everyone because it's like it's helpful. It gives everyone um experience. The only person I didn't get was um Waka. I I have no use for these spells like no frost, no blaze, and no shock and no tide until like like late in the game. I mean I only use those spells like once. I mean they're they're helpful for one battle, but otherwise, no. Alright, so the thing about Kimari is he has a really weird sphere grid. Um, he's pretty much at the center of all of the other sphere grids, as you can sort of see. This sphere grid is really weird. Like, um and you'll finish this sphere grid like really fast. Really super fast. Um, so what you can do afterwards is um, you can start getting these lock lock spheres that unlock these things, and just going to um, these different areas of the sphere grid, like other people. Like you know, you can go to Tidus's route, Waka's route, Lulu's route. I think. Yeah, you can go to Lulu's route, and even Yuna's route. And this is like, you're going to be passing a lot through here um, with other characters after you finish um, upgrading all of the other characters too, with their normal sphere grade. So let's just, okay, first the big question is, which way do I want to move first? I mean, I can move up, I can move left, I mean, because I'm going to have to get these anyway, so, you know what, I might as well move up. To use power sphere to increase his HP. So Kimari can go like two ways. He can either be really useful in battle and be like a copy of another character. Character, or he can be like Fiend really useless. 
Lord of the Wood. Yeah. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. What's that supposed to mean? Alright, but anyways, we're gonna fight this motherfucker. So, yeah. Keep your panties on, let's do this. I mean, he's actually not even that hard, to be honest. Just, you just have to do stuff. Warm we'll the fire. Let's go. White magic. You know what? Kimari, go for it. Jump. Jump that motherfucker. Yeah. Fire. Lulu is really helpful in this situation. Because she has black magic. And of course, there's poison claw, so. Um. You have to heal yourself a lot. And that's why I have Yuna, too. Like, for Asuna and stuff. Alright, let's get Walker in. Skill, Dark... Dark attack. Oh, it's Yuna. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna fire. That hurts Lulu, too, because she moved. Alright, let's go back to Yuna. I'm gonna summon in a bit, but for right now, let's just... I think everyone's attacked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone's attacked. Mostly he does, um, just attacks like the poison claw thing. And he also, um, just does magic. Sometimes he does, like, this weird dance thing. I don't remember exactly, but, um, if you use Valfor, she's no problem. Just make sure you attack with everyone first so that they'll all get AP and uh, you'll be set. It might not even kill him, but whatever. Just weaken him enough so that he become really easy. Alright, Balfour, time to kick some ass. Sonic Links is really helpful. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it allows you to go before your enemy, which is really cool. Come on, bro. Come on. Let's see, Sonic Links? Yes. Let's use Sonic Links. Sonic Wings. Yes. Alright. Sonic Wings. Yes. We're good. This won't last forever, granted, but still. It's still... <laughs> yeah, this, this is gonna be cheap. Oh. Okay. Um, so that did quite a bit of damage on him, so let's just normally attack. He falls asleep. Wow. That lazy ass. Alright, uh, oh, he has regen, which is unfortunate. When he's asleep, he gets regen, apparently. And that's not gonna affect me because he's high in the air. <laughs> so. Alright, energy ray, Sonic Wings. Alright, let's do Sonic Wings first, then we'll use. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Energy Ray is really cool, and Aeon's um, Overdrive come in handy this entire game is... Let's get the house in damage! But all four is dead now, so we're gonna have to take this motherfucker out. So... That shouldn't be too hard. I mean... We got Lulu, we got Wonka, we got Titus. He doesn't even have that much HP left. We just gotta deal with it. Just gotta heal up Lulu and we should be good. And just get Tidus in. Alright, so let's cure Lulu. That seems like a good idea. And of course he's gonna do that again. <laughs> if I'm very smart about No, no, there's no way I can kill him again. Or kill him right the second. I have to wait. So let's see. Fire again. So you're pretty close to dying. Go to the die thing. Yeah, you're pretty close to dying, so... I recommend you just die already. So, make things a lot easier for me. So, Kiyomari, he is a good person. Um, I mean, he is a good character to play as and stuff. Oh no, motherfucker. No, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Lulu. Item? Nope. 
fire. I'm gonna use fire on you because I'm not gonna die anyways. Just die, bro. You just need to die. Okay, so black magic fire. And you are dead. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? That only took like 10 minutes. <laughs> And um, the rewards, you do get 40 AP, but you also get MP Sphere and a Serum Armament, which um, I'm pretty sure it means you to poison. A this guy's like, Guardians. Very impressive. Thank Sir, you. we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young Crusaders gather round. Gather round. We'll be set into the ground. Alright, so now that's over, let's um, go to the Sphere Grade and just level up a bit. Mana Sphere. Alright. Seems we're doing pretty good. Taking that guy down, like, when I first played this game, he was he was tough. I, I couldn't beat him. So I just had to go around him. So I was like, oh, this is a lot easier. So, we need more ability spheres. See, this is accuracy increased by one. Alright, so let's go back to the beginning. Use that save point. Hopefully we don't run into an enemy, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's save this really quick, so we're at full HP. Feel like a woods. Alright, so now if we go this way, you can actually run into a few treasure chests. I think. Yeah. See? Treasure chests! We're all good. There's just these assholes we gotta deal with. Yeah. Happy has to die. Attack him. Doesn't do much, but you know. Anyone thirsty? I am. I'm thirsty. Lulu. Give them water. And we're fire water. Nourishment. Oh. So I was trying to watch Supernatural earlier today, but Netflix hit kept, like, being weird on me. It's like, it would not load for some weird reason. So I'm like, oh, I want to watch Supernatural, but it's not letting me do it. I'm on season seven, and I've been watching it for, like, the last three months or something. Probably longer. Probably longer than three months, actually. I think it was maybe November, honestly. So let's attack him. Don't want to use fire yet, so you and I get in there. I'm ready. Attack. Tomorrow you go. Go for it. See again. You missed, bro. You missed, bro. You suck. Gee, just go ahead. Right away. And you are dead. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's actually kind of late at night. Well, I mean, it's not that late. I just didn't get a lot of sleep last night. 826 right now, so yeah, I'm kinda tired. And I get chicken too. Chicken's good. I love chicken. Alright, so let's move along to Sphere Grid again. See, I, I told you I'd be doing this a lot, but I get really fast at it, so don't worry. We're all good. So move, move up. There we go. We are all good. Cool. On our way, sir. Can you guys move? Thank you. Let's just stalk them for right now. And go back around the other way when we get back. Oh, more guys. More guys. There's a fast one and a slow one. Or a flying guy. Kiamari? Yep. Kiamari took him, took him out. Good, Kiamari. You go, Kiamari. You're awesome, Kiamari. So it's pretty much imperative that you get Kimari like with the most fear levels, like starting off. Because like he's like the toughest to make into a good character. I mean what I um did my last playthrough is um I started him on the Tetis route, but then I was like, oh no, I really wanted to get him on the Walker route. So that way he gets really strong. That's the RN route. 
but you need a level 1 lock thing. So it's it's not that bad. I mean, by the time you're done with um, PMR, you still have a level 1 sphere thing. So let's just keep on going. We're almost there, I think. Are we? Oh no, but here's a treasure chest. Lux sphere, cool. We can't use that because we don't have a fortune sphere. Which actually activates the Lux Sphere, so I don't know why they're giving us the Lux, the Lux Sphere if they don't give us the Fortune Sphere either. So it's a good idea to save it. To save the least. Silence. Oh man, I have to my nose. Sorry, I know that's attractive. Alright, so Monster C, that's him. So let's switch to Waka. I can take care of those alone, huh? Alright, let's take care of the lava. Ooh, that was exact. Awesome. Kiamari? Yes. Go Kiamari. Um, okay, let's get you in here. We can wait a turn. Just wanna make sure everyone attacks. <laughs> I I'm, I'm very OCD about this, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Nothing to fear, the it. hero's here! Alright, now Lulu, go for it. I magic, water. And you're dead, bro. You are no longer with us. Too easy. Slice it. Alright, so Tina's gotta level up, so let's do that really quick. And a spear, there we go. Alright. So, in order to get to this temple, it's kind of confusing, you have to like wander all over the place. <laughs> it took me an hour my first time to like find out, I was like, oh, how the fuck do I get there? There's a, there's a boulder in the road. Uh, okay. Another one of these. Yuna, okay. Just who do you think you are? I'm Tatus, motherfucker. Alright, attack. Alright, Waka, go for it. Do you know what? Kimari. Yeah, you go, Kimari. In the beginning, the flyers, they don't dodge that much. So you're able to hit them with pretty much any character. But later in the game, once you've reached like a certain point, it's almost impossible to hit a flyer. So it's it's a good way to um, mill AP for your guys. Uh, like uh, if you got a three flyer set. History, you know. Yeah. You you you'll be set. Yep. <laughs> Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy. A race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> oh, yeah, Luna, good luck. If you would. Hey, you know, that's a dick move. Ah, huh? Hey! <laughs> Alright, so there's a save point here for a reason. You'll find out why. So let's save it really quick. I, I like saving. Saving is very good. And let's use the sphere grid really quick. Ability sphere. That was our last ability sphere. We'll get more probably. So... There's only one thing up there, so I'd recommend going down there for right now at least. We don't want to go up there quite yet, so... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Look, look out! Look out! Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit, man. Sin spawn. Sin spawn. We gotta take care of this shit. Okay. So in order to get this guy to open up, let's see. Let's deal with this. These things are a pain. Come on, Waka. Take care of it. Nope, you did not take care of it. That's okay. I forgive you. Because Kiyomari will. Thanks, Kiyomari. In order to get him to come out, you have to um, take out its healers. 
Don't quote me on it. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. That sign is really powerful because it inflicts you. Not all the time, but sometimes it inflicts you with status on my and it sucks. It's like poison. Oh, they're gone. Alright, Lulu, Fury, Fire Fury on that bastard. <laughs> I just learned recently what to do, like, for this thing. So, like, oh, yeah. If you cast fire, he'll open up. It's, yeah, yeah, he's open. We're good. Dude, I just took out something that was way harder than you, like earlier in this video. Dude, you are like nothing right now. Seriously, you are you are nothing. Can I get that ability? No, I can't. Attack. I'm gonna switch you up, bro. I'm gonna switch in Yuna and just summon Battle for Get some AP. I'm an AP whore, I know. Like magic fire. Fire's a good idea. Alright, uh, Yuna. Summon Zalfor. Let's do this! Woo! Oh, I forgot. I have to put on the, um, the setting to show these things. Because after a while, they get to be a bit of I, I know for you guys, at least, because... Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, we've seen this before, let's just get back to the game, come on. You don't want to wait 10 seconds. Sonic Ming, Sonic Sonic Ming. Under the ball of damage, Staccato. Oh, that hurt my feelings, thanks man. Oh. Venom, I'm immune. Yep. So let's just keep going at him. Going at him. Going at him. Oh, yeah, he's almost dead, actually, so let's just keep doing this. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. You're almost dead. I think that this should do it, actually. Just Sonic wings in it. Oh, wow. That almost killed him. That was a very big jump, actually. <laughs> like, last time we used it, it was like a hundred, and that was like two. Damn. Okay, so... He's dead. Took out two bosses in one part. That's actually not that bad. And we're still only... at 23 minutes. We're making great time. We're making awesome time. <sighs> Yeah, to just catch your breath. That's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. <laughs> Being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. <laughs> so, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle, I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Yeah. Aw, oh, Kimari, you didn't level up? What, man? What? Oh, we got more ability spheres, though, so that's good. Cool. So let's do that right now. Because I... And cool like that. Come later, we'll we'll have like so many of these spheres. It, it's not. It won't even be funny. We'll be good. But for right now, we just gotta live with the amount we have. Oh, I need haste. I need haste soon. So that's just like one sphere level away. Oh what? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my God, that scared me for a second. I was like, oh no, whoops. Okay, well, we're good, we're good. Huh. Okay. So, uh, they got fiends in Zenacan too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up though. Uh, 
Hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? Your sarcasm is a You Karen make Lulu. up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just harsh. pop back. That's harsh, Lulu. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one That's can harsh. replace Sir Jet, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. Harsh, Lulu. <laughs> I... That was pretty harsh. I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, I know whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Woo! Him of the Faith, I love this song. So calming. Just love it. Alright. So, here we are. Born to be kings. We're the princes of the universe. Aw, yeah. Then there's these assholes. Oh my god, I hate them. <laughs> You're here to pray for victory too. Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Oh Not yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? I, I this time, this we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! Mark is so cool. He just, he just well, doesn't we care. Do. We have to. You know He's that like, too. I don't give a Putting fuck. people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jack was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jack. <sighs> Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him. Nah. nah. All right, so let's go to the temple. Uh, the goers, the, but they're so yeah, I agree with you, man. Oh, so there's a summoner already in there. Cool. So let's just go down and head in there and see what's up. No. Great hall now, cool. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, I'm gonna beat you. I'm sorry. No, it's not time yet. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. I'm gonna pray too. It seems like a good idea. I'm just gonna pray here. So, yeah, just just don't mind me. Just gonna pray. A summoner. Oh, man. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna. So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? 
<laughs> My, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? Oh, Bar I love you, Bartello. You're so cool. I only have as many <laughs> guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of so course, basically, shut the fuck up. I would never <laughs> think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. Excuse you. <laughs> Guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? Oh man, you'll find out. Eventually. You know, you know what I mean. Alright, so, I think we're good. Let's go. I mean, granted, granted, we can't go into the cloister, but we might as well want to see them in. The faith is below. Let's do it. Do it. The faith? But first, the cloister of trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Nah! <laughs> Hey, what kids? <laughs> You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Okay. Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so let's just go right outside then. Can't we? Come on, guys. Okay. Wait here. No one's getting in here. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm. Yes. Not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Just a little game. Huh? <laughs> this is bad. Really bad. Just like, oh, there we go. Go on in. Come Next on, go up. Go up. Nope. Apparently you can't go up. So we might as well go this way. Only guardian. I'm, go I'm sure no guardian. Go inside, man. Come on. Well, I guess Come it's on. too late now. Good. Now you're thinking like a guardian. Good man. Good man. Alright, so this cloister trials is actually pretty cool. I love the cloister trials. They're so cool. Some of them can be really frustrating, but others are like love them. I just love them. Alright, so, let's see. Kill it, just here. Alright, so we're gonna have to put that there. So, let's do that. Any other spheres? Nope. Insert the kill it, just here. Take it back out. I wonder how much wood that they have to burn through for every summer. Like for this one temple. I mean, it's like they go out to the woods, they chop down some trees, like, oh, there goes that sphere. Whoops. Alright, so. Is that sphere? What does that do for me? Just creates a little flame. Take sphere. Okay. 
put, put that there, so that... Nothing? Okay, so let's take that back. Let's put that back in there. That does that thing. Now let's see what this does. Anything? Oh, cool. Look up here. So, now let's... What do we do? I'm not sure. Let's see. Touch the glyph? That's a good idea. Yep. Touching the glyph is a good idea. Alright, so what have we got in here? So this... Takes here. Um, okay, so... Let's see. Um... Put that there. Let's see. Let's take this with there and see what we can do with it. Alright. Um, what does that do for us? Anything? Oh, cool. It does that for us. That gets rid of fire. Oh, check that out. Destruction sphere. That's helpful. Alright, so where do we put this one? Probably back here or something. Put that as that. Nope. Oh wow. Okay. So we have two of those spheres. And I I think I remember having to push that thing into the thing. Into that crevice over there, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we got. Let's go outside. Yep. There we go. Now we're making some progress. See this you have a very nice butt. So let's see. Alright, we gotta get it to over there. So move forward a little bit more. Right. Going right. Four. A little bit more right. Nope. T -t 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 Come on. Come on. Now four. So instructions. What? Why did that do anything? Uh... Okay, let's put that there for right now. Let's take this. Let's see what we can do with it. Anything? Nope. Nothing. So now, let's take this sphere and put it right in here. that and that's where we put the destructions here I think. Let's take that sphere. It's it's a good idea to get all the um items in these. I, I believe I've talked about it before. Oh but where the fuck did I put oh right right up here. <laughs> Insert that there. We're good. So now we just gotta take this destruction sphere and get that item. I mean, if you really think about it, all the people at the temple are like, "Oh, that guy got it. That guy got the item. So how much money, more money are we gonna have to spend?" Oh, about a thousand. Oh, it's not. That's not big deal. Okay, let's, let's go do that. Let's go. Let's go do that. This here. The red armlet. Actually, that's a um, good item. Red armlet. Fire Ward, Ice Ward, Lightning Ward. So that's actually really good. It's not that much, so we're good. Alright, so let's... Oh, we need uh, another... Kill the Kiss Sphere, I think it was, right? Yeah, Kill the Kiss Sphere. So, oh, that's empty. 
Let's go and get it. Come on. Here we go, it's here. And let's go! <clears throat> You'll find out why I'm getting all the items. I mean, they are good items, but there's also another reason. Which I'll tell you later. Like, way later in this game. And then we're like, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know, you can just like leave with the sphere too. Like, watch this. You can just leave with the sphere in your hand. It's like, they don't even make a big deal out of it. It's like, oh, you got the sphere, cool. How that is a keepsake. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Well, that's her fucking body. I mean, I was bullied here. So, don't judge me. I was bullied here. The chamber here. beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call this an Aeon. Yeah, that's where Neon All that is. in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Ah, you just said YOLO. Excuse me, Gamari. Alright, so the only way I know how to trigger this is just... Oh, you're about to leave and then she comes out and you're all good. There you go. Yep, I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. There was something I didn't tell me. anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. I just remembered I got a new channel logo. <laughs> it's that weird monkey guy. Monkey eyed guy. And my logo is like right underneath it. I know it's kind of creepy, but still, it's it works. I mean, probably have to find another one, maybe eventually. But you know, right now it makes me seem kind of official. Sort of Batman. I got yeah. See, no one's ever not ever. No one's gonna know that I went in there. You know what I mean? I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> <laughs> smooth, Tina, smooth. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here, guys. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, I know I'm becoming one of those people, I'm sorry. 
if you if you like it, please please do me a favor and please just like, comment, and subscribe. It seriously it keeps me motivated to keep doing these things. It lets me know that people are actually watching it and like appreciating it, you know. But um, anyway, that that's all I can really do for today. We ended at like 45 minutes, so that's actually not bad. I, I think 45 minutes is a good time. Um, anyways, guys, I'll, I will see you all later. Out of the Verci.